there's a spider already on my... How did he... Good morning, reptilians. Welcome for the first time to the reptilian den. In case you don't know, this is my husband, Din. Hello. We're no longer sticking to the husband thing anymore. He now has a name. <laughs> because if you didn't watch the last few videos, we announced that we're going to start doing occasional Wednesday videos where he just does DIY reptile related things. So this week we, I ended up turning uh, PVC into bamboo and uh, this is the result. I tried a few methods but this one was my favorite out of all of them from the tutorials I was watching online. So before we get into how I ultimately made this, just wanted to show a couple of the examples of the methods I wasn't a big fan of. This one was a method involving basically burning it and melting it and then squishing them together to create the knuckle in the middle. Whereas the uh, method I ended up going with just involved me basically carving it. But in the future, maybe if you guys are interested, I can show you guys how I made this one. But uh, we're done talking now, so let's get to uh, me making it. I've already taken measurements of the tank, so I'm just now measuring the PVC and I'm cutting it to size. I'm just using a PVC cutter that you can get at any hardware store. Here I'm just marking where the knuckles of the bamboo will be before I start carving out the PVC. The Dremel tool is what I use to carve out the PVC. It also roughs up the edges so that way the paint will stick to it. This is a powerful little sander as demonstrated by the pipe flying out of my hands. I cut a hole in my table and hooked up a vacuum cleaner to it in hopes to uh, reduce some of the dust, but as you can see, that didn't work out too well. Now I'm just taking the Dremel tool and I'm tracing the line that I drew with the pencil earlier to really create that divot for the knuckles. I'm super happy with the organic texture that the uh, Dremel tool gave to the PVC. I'm using a dark brown acrylic craft paint. This one is non-toxic. It's very important to use non-toxic paint in these types of projects. I picked this paint up at Hobby Lobby. I painted the creases of the knuckles with the dark brown paint to make it look more natural. And coming up next is where I accidentally interrupted the entire recording to show off my nails that I just painted. You're in the camera though right now. Oh. I'm painting my nails for the first time in like six months. They look really good. I then took a dry rag with some paint on it and rubbed it on the PVC to give it more texture. This is the point where some of the tutorials suggest burning it, but after sanding down the PVC and then burning it, it just completely melts it. This is some shellac I got at Home Depot. Shellac is non-toxic when it's dry. It also adds water resistance too, so we use it a lot for humid tanks. And I'm just painting on the amber colored shellac. The amber colored shellac mixes really well with the uh, white PVC creating a very natural looking bamboo color. Originally I attempted to dip the PVC pipes into the shellac, but the colors came out too intense. In the top left hand corner you can see there's a screw there. I use these screws to put the PVC pipes on them in an upright position so they dry evenly. Here I'm spraying on a clear coat of shellac just to give it that little extra layer of protection. And the next step is just letting them dry before putting them into the tank because you don't want any fumes coming off of them once they're in that tank. 
And this is the finished product. I took a piece of plexiglass and I fashioned it to the back of the bamboo so it would all become one piece and I'd be able to put it in the back of the tank. I designed this for uh, Dexter's tank. He's our crested gecko. So it could fill in the empty space of the back of his tank. So that's it for this video. Uh, I like the way it turned out. I think it's very complimentary to uh, Dexter's Tank and I hope to be making more DIY projects in the future. So if you guys have any ideas for DIYs that he could do that are reptile related, animal related in some way, make sure to let us know down in the comments below and he can hopefully try that. So if you like this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell for notifications, and leave a comment down below for future projects that I could be working on. Until next time. Just staring at me. Um, uh, this is where I go now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, I really like the way it turned out, and I think it's very complimentary to... Uh... Wait, do you want me here in this shot? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that's... So that's... Ah! <laughs> tank. I think it's very complimentary to the... Sorry, there's an ad in my ear. It just went into my ear. <laughs> I'm already struggling so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was, I tried. I thought it would go away. And that way you'll be notified in the future when I put out more DIY stuff. DIY stuff. Sorry? <laughs> just put myself in the eye. <laughs> Got it. Okay. All right. So, mm, all right. Game face. All right.